What's up guys and welcome to part 5 of my CTC modeling tutorial series. And today we're going to be going over I think one of the most important things I'm going to cover in these tutorials. So um, what I'm going to do is basically how to make a decent 3D object. Not a character but an object. So this is the part where it really got interesting for me and this is where I got started off as a modeler really and I started doing this with guns but today as seeing that it is uh, close to Christmas and all and um, CTC is going to be doing the Christmas assembly as I'm sure I've informed you all um, I'm going to be doing a uh, gingerbread man so I'm gonna walk you through step by step and uh, go over everything that we've covered until now so it's gonna be probably the longest and most complex episode so just uh, pay attention it's listen closely because this is pretty much it so um, as always I'm gonna get rid of the cube and what I'm gonna do something called adding a background image so when you're modeling you really need to use a reference image otherwise you can be really off when you're trying to model something and it doesn't look quite right and it's hard to get something off of memory so even when you're drawing you might want to use a reference image just like look at a, a picture or something while you're while you're drawing but this is similar so what you're gonna to want to do is press N and it'll open up the side menu here I'm not sure if I've shown you this before and then you check off the background images box and you can find any image that's on your computer so click add image and then go to open so uh, I downloaded this image uh, gingerbread man over here so open this image now the, the, the reference image only appears in certain views and I found that only the uh, on the 7 on the number pad and then press 5 so it has to be top ortho or right ortho actually front ortho so yeah it's it's only an ortho view when you press 5 and switch it to perspective it doesn't appear so 7 1 3 are the ones that work for me you can do it whichever one you want it doesn't really matter I usually use 7 so I usually use top ortho it doesn't matter though it, you can always just rotate it around if it's not to your liking anyways I have this gingerbread man image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up I'm going to add an object of my choice and I prefer using planes there's a lot of different ways of modeling but I prefer using planes and I'm going to teach you that method so once you have your plane as you can see it only has four vertices so you can switch between object and edit mode by pressing tab or using the uh, toolbar down here to switch from object to edit mode like I said don't worry about these that's um, it's really for like more complex models and animation that those are necessary these two are what we need to be what we need to be worried about right now so once you switch into object mode you move like the entire object by itself without manipulating it switching to edit mode you can uh, change the object shape like such by right clicking on vertices and dragging them you can also select vertices by pressing A to select everything or the C for circle select once you make the object 3D I find it's a lot easier to press the Z key so you can see through the object and select all the vertices and also it, it, I find it helps when you're, um, you're trying to make your uh, plane look more like the 2D object so how would we make this plane um, as you can see there's only four vertices so there's only a limited amount to what we can do at the moment so what we're gonna do is we're gonna subdivide it and uh, make more vertices and then once we do that we can uh, we can change it into the object that we want so there's two ways of doing this you can press W and that opens up this menu and you subdivide and as you can see it splits every face into four faces and this gives us a lot more flexibility but if you want to be a bit more precise uh, I like to use the control press control R and then scroll up with the mouse wheel to tell how many you want and then just click and that'll add more verses so yeah that about covers the subdivision sec section of this so I'm going to show you basically what I need you guys to do for this part is just to basically create a 2D version of this gingerbread man so I find it's easier to press the Z button immediately so you can see through and then uh, just subdivide the crap out of your plane let's try and get it into the shape of the gingerbread man watch what I'm doing here so I might fast forward past this part once you get the basic idea of what I'm doing
Okay guys, well I'm finished with that. So, as you can see, what I've done here is I have um, I have half of the gingerbread man modeled in 2D. See when I rotate, it's only 2D, not 3D. So, obviously I'm going to have to do the other half, but I've found that it's a lot easier to use a certain modifier which I covered last episode. So this modifier is known as the mirror modifier and it's under the uh, the little wrench in this taskbar and you go down here and you go to mirror. Now this is um, a very useful when dealing with symmetrical objects like this because if you're gonna try and model the entire object it's not gonna be symmetrical like there's gonna be little points where you're off so if you want it to be really clean um, you're going to want to use the mirror modifier. Also, it saves you a lot of time. Like, you see how long that took me? I don't know. It was, it was a few minutes or something. But uh, that took me a while, and uh, I find the mirror modifier is a lot more convenient. So I'm going to go I'm going to go down to this wrench over here in the taskbar, click on that, click on Add Modifier, and click Mirror. And as you can see, I mirrored it on the x-axis, which is uh, on the red line right there. And it is now a full gingerbread man. It's got the merge limit and everything. So once you apply the modifier, you now have a symmetrical object. So what you got to do here is now, you can see it's 2D. Now how would I make that 3D, which was also covered in a previous episode, you go down to the E key and press E, and that will change your object from 2D to 3D. Now you have an actual three-dimensional gingerbread man shape. Now, once you have this shape, you can like add the details, like the, the eyes and the mouth, using a similar method. You can model them individually, or you can try and extrude them off of your original uh, object. But, uh, yeah. That's how you model a gingerbread man, guys. So, uh, yeah, experiment. Play around with that. Obviously, this is not like a finished model. You can, you can obviously add some detail. Like here, you know, just make it a bit wider there. Gotta do that to the other side too. But yeah, that's that's basically the model, guys. So I'm not really wor worried about uh, like how clean your model is at the moment. So just learn how to do this and learn how to do it well. And good luck modeling, guys. So I'll see you next time.